Hello and welcome back to Snack Time with Trevor, episode number 14. That is right, episode 14 of Snack Time with Trevor. And on today's episode, you may be wondering, Trevor, why are you wearing a devil's jersey? Why are you wearing a devil's hat? This ain't a devil's video, this is a Snack Time video, and you are correct about that. But, today's episode of Snack Time with Trevor is a special one, because this past Tuesday night... I went to go see the New Jersey Devils face off against the Montreal Canadiens. And while I was at the Potential Center, I did a special episode of Snack Time with Trevor where I review the some of the foods at the Potential Center. But I was in a very special section called the Restaurant Ledge where it is an all-inclusive buffet, free drinks, a great view of the rink. But enough of me talking about it. Let's go now to some video with some post-commentary about it. Roll the footage. And here we are. This is the restaurant ledge inside the Potential Center. Beautiful seating. So you can sit down, still get a great view of the rink. Enjoy some nice food, have some drinks. There was even an actual restaurant inside as well. That's why it's called the restaurant ledge. So if you want, you can book uh, a pregame dinner. And have some food before the game. Here's some of the food itself that you get at the ledge. Appetizer station, salad bar, main course entree station with fish, chicken, vegetables, some type of meat. They have a carving station that you can get. You can see what is available to, uh, at the game I went to. It was slow roasted prime rib. And let me tell you, it was delicious. Then we move on to the fan food section, what you can normally get at stadiums. Hot dogs, chicken tenders, french fries, little mini sliders, all very delicious. Here's one of my first plates that I had. A little variety. Had a hot dog, some barbecue chicken tenders, some pelogis with some caramelized onions and sour cream. It was absolutely delicious. Then we move on. I got the prime rib with some mashed potatoes and a roll with some butter. And I got to tell you what, for a stadium, not half bad. Obviously not the best thing I've had in the world, but I'll tell you what, for a stadium, it was pretty dang good. And here comes the team entering the ice for warm-ups. This is what it looks like with the lights on, so you can get a perspective of what the arena does look like. And here they come. Coming out to the ice for what I didn't know at the time would be one of their worst games of the season, but... Hey, we're not going to talk about that because this is more for what the atmosphere was like and where I was sitting for an evening while watching my favorite team play. Here's a little view of what it looks like with the lights on. And I'll tell you what, they do a great setup here. You're, up, you're high enough where you could still see the action and yet you get a great view of the rink. I could see the plays develop. I could see where the puck is at at all times. It gets a little tougher when they're in the Montreal zone, but it is still a great way to watch a hockey game. And here they come out to the ice before the game started. Very nice, very nice. So I'm going to do now, get into a little bit of what the ledge cost. For the game I went to, and I found a ticket that someone was selling for $85. So this was a secondary market ticket that I got for this game. And $85 for this uh, type of seating is below market value. Usually you're looking at at least $120, $150. Hell, sometimes even over $200, which is insane. I would never go to those games, but nice goal from Brat there. Anyway, so when I saw I got a ticket for $85, and for what you're getting, the view, all-you-can-eat food, servers that come around and get you your drinks. And here's some of the desserts, by the way, that they have. Great setup. This isn't really for me. Little pastries and cookies with the devil's logo on it. Ice cream station where you can create you on Sundays. I did have to get some soft serve ice cream, though, because that is my jam. But anyways, you, for what I got for that night, $85, all-you-can-eat food, drinks, and the view, it's not bad. It's worth it. If you could score a ticket between $120 and $150 for this where you're sitting, I think it's worth it. Anything above that, you're kind of playing with it because then it doesn't really justify the price. 
I had about four or five plates of food, so I think that covered my cost. And you're in your own little area, not with the general public. Your own separate bathrooms area, and you're just in your all-inclusive little area. So I think it's definitely worth it as the horn sounds. Yeah, we lost 5-2 that night. It was a disappointing game. But overall, it was a fun time and a great night out. And there you have it. Just a quick little video about my experience this past Tuesday night. Overall, while the game was lost and it wasn't the best performance by the team, it was a great time, as always, just to go out for a night and experience a hockey game. And that is my favorite place to sit in at the arena. You get the food, you get the drinks, and you get a good view as well. Can't complain about that. So that's going to do it for this episode of Snack Time with Trevor. Thank you all for watching, of course. My name is Trevor, and I will see you for the next one.